That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? Welcome to Third Eye Visions, where we motivate the blind, stimulate your mind, and welcome all kind. Today's topic, how to exude confidence. This is a video which was sent in from a young lady with the YouTube channel, Juliet Tamika. That's J-U-L-I-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E, Tamika, T-A-M-E-K-A. -E and I'm gonna put the link in the description. This is a great fit for this channel, not only because many sighted people may lack some sort of confidence, but many other individuals who may have some sort of impairment may suffer from lack of confidence as well. So let's check out this video and possibly you, me, and others can learn how to exude confidence. So please, look. Hit the subscribe button after you have subscribed. Hit the notification bell, like, share, and by all means, comment. So let's take a look at Juliet's video and let us all learn how to exude confidence. I am back with another video. Um, today I'm going to be talking about how to exude confidence. Like basically how to walk in the room and everybody's attention just kind of go towards you. So I feel like I'm qualified to talk about this subject because I've gotten a lot of compliments about that, you know? I'm just a confident person. Like I don't care who else is in the room. Basically like I don't think that anybody else's shine dims my light, like honestly. Like I love to compliment people. I love to give good vibes and I feel like since I do, I give that out, that's what I, you know, that's what I walk around with, that's what I do, so, and that's what I give back. So there's been a lot of people who just say, I love how confident you are, like, I love, like, you You just, you know, you're just yourself, but you're cool, but you know, you're just so confident. So how can you also do the same thing? Because there are a lot of people who are a little less confident. Um, I haven't always been as confident as I am. But I have gone through and been to a lot of different, you know, personal development seminars, listen to people who talk about, you know, building your self-esteem um, and having confidence in whatever you do. These birds are loud. I'm having confidence in whatever you do. So I just want to, you know, give you guys some tips on how to be more confident. Okay, so number one, self-esteem self-esteem no one else can determine your self-esteem and your self-worth like it's literally the esteem of yourself so no one else can build this for you this is something that you have to do on your own and sometimes it takes searching getting to know ourselves canceling out the outside noise and just being happy with who we are self-love literally is the core of high self-esteem and i have been on this journey of loving myself more, being happy, being alone. Like I don't have to be in a relationship to be happy. Being in a relationship doesn't define me. I am okay being single and I let whoever that I am dealing with at the moment know that I am okay with being single. I love my own company, you know? So self-love and self-esteem kind of go hand in hand for me. So to be, build that, you have to literally get to know yourself. Um, if you're in a relationship and you're the type of person who likes to give, 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 that can be exhausting. That can be very exhausting. And people like to take advantage of that. So you have to be able to step back and say, A, is this situation, you know, beneficial to me? B, am I being good to myself by allowing myself to be in this situation? Um, and go from there. Like self-love is loving the way you look, loving your skin, loving your hair, loving your imperfections. That's loving your imperfections. I'm not perfect at all. I have things that I would love to change about myself, but I still love myself for where I am now. And comparison. Comparison is the thief of joy. 
Do not compare yourself to others because there will always be something that someone has that you don't, but that does not mean that you're less than because you don't have that specific thing or body type or whatever the case may be. Um, Sorry, y'all get really passionate about this subject. So like self-love and not comparing yourself to others. I find myself doing that now and it is very easy to do that in this world that we live in. It's social media, social media, Instagram. Everybody wanna have perfect, perfect bodies, perfect boobies, perfect ass, perfect hair, perfect teeth. Like, is anybody real anymore? All the real people, please stand up. Please stand up. Is anybody real anymore? But yeah, like this is something that our society, our generation, we just wanna be perfect. Like if you don't have the perfect skin tone, if you don't have the perfect teeth, if you don't have the wear the perfect clothes and you're considered less than, if you have the perfect body, like I really think that, you know, social media has definitely been bad for us in that sense. There's a lot of good through social media, but in that sense it has made really bad. And a lot of people are depressed because they sit there and they scroll and they compare themselves to others, and if they feel like they don't measure up, that lowers their self-worth. Self -worth. I am here to tell you that you are amazingly beautiful the way you are. You, do not you is smart, you is kind, you is important. You don't have to change. If you want to change, let it, because be, let it be because of something that you wanna do, you know, that you just want this for yourself, not because of what anyone else has said about you. Or done to you it has to do with me for you because at the end of the day you might change something about yourself but after the change do you still love yourself you're still your the person that you know before and after whatever modification that you want to do you have to make sure that you still love yourself regardless because a simple modification is not going to change the way you feel about yourself you have to truly get to know you and love yourself so that Confidence, self-love, it'll it'll shine through. Also, taking your taking care of yourself, self-care. So for me, self-care is making sure that I eat right, that I drink enough water. Like I notice, like when my skin starts acting crazy, that all right, you need to reel it in. Um, exercising. Um, these are all ways that we can take care of ourselves and you know show self-love. And when you do that, you know you kind of exude that. Go wake up and work out. If you start your day with a workout, I'm pretty sure that you'll feel like, hey, like every time you look in the mirror, hey, did I just lose two pounds from running two miles? Like, it will make you feel yourself better, better about yourself, excuse me. You make yourself, um, some of you feel better about yourself if you do those things. So do things that are, you know are good for you. Um, and that, that goes hand in hand. You automatically be confident about yourself because you know you're treating yourself good. Uh, going after your goals is another thing that, you know, when you feel like you're accomplished and you've accomplished what you tackle one of your biggest goals, um, that makes you feel good about yourself. And it also makes you want to do more, you know, like not being stagnant, um, getting complacent, staying in the same place. Like, I think life is all, all about growth and like there's different levels, honestly, like, and if you're just staying the same, plain, you know, status quo, keeping things very mediocre, you might start to get a little down in the dirt about you know life in general nothing's cool anymore life is boring but there is so many things um, that you can do and things that you can accomplish like goals that you have for yourself um, do those and you don't necessarily have to share those goals with anyone else like that's for you it's all personal someone might hear your goal and they don't understand it or your dream and they don't understand it and that's okay because it's not for them it's for you so go after your goals Finish something, go to school, get your degree, whatever, Take a, 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 get a certification, whatever the case may be. If you want to be a makeup artist, like, go learn how to do that and be the best makeup artist to your ability, like barber, hairstylist, whatever it is, do that. And that, that self-pride, basically, that you get from accomplishing that goals builds your confidence as well. Let's see, what else? Um, a positive attitude positive mindset um, if you are a positive person and you know you love yourself you take care of yourself you are out here kicking ass and taking names um, your a positive mindset goes right along with all those things and that exude confidence so positivity confidence um, it all goes hand in hand like 
having a positive mindset, not getting too down in the dirt about things, um, being hard on yourself when you don't finish those goals. You also have to set realistic goals for yourself um, because that can put us in a, you know, a negative mindset that, hey, I keep setting all these goals and nothing's happening, but you also have to be realistic. Um, and resilient to bounce back from the things that do happen to you because no one said it's going to be a straight path. It's a windy, bumpy road. Like any type of success, success is not a straight line at all. It is very curvy, up and down. So um, I would say that like set realistic goals for yourself. And when you accomplish those goals, like the, your confidence goes through the roof. Um, what else? Look good. I would say to be super superficial, but if you look good, you feel good, and that just exudes confidence. That that just it just comes out of you. Um, whatever it is, like be as eccentric or modest as you want to be, uh, but you know, do stuff for you that you know that helps you feel good about yourself. And I feel like when you look good, you feel good. I know when I look good, I feel good. When I don't look good, I don't feel that good. So yes. Um, but at the core of exuding confidence, it is loving yourself, um, accepting yourself and all of your flaws. It is being positive. It is going out there and being the best person that you can be in this world, um, trying every day to be the best possible version of you and accomplishing it. So um, I hope this helped you. I hope this helps someone. If you know someone who may be struggling with this, just send this to them. Give them an encouraging word. And it's also, as a confident person, doesn't, um, they don't care to like let, keep people down. They, they want to lift others up too. So um, send this to someone who can lift their spirits because we all have, you know, the beauty within us. We're all beautiful. We're all amazing. We all ha are on this world for a purpose. And I hope you guys are living in your purpose.